Yo, what's up guys? Darkbreaker here and for today's video we are playing Enzo and honestly at the beginning you will notice I was lagging a lot. I had quite the issues with MS so I went into a standard game to test my ping and you will see it was the right decision for me to go into a standard match for us because at the beginning I was super super duper laggy and I hope you guys it's not too annoying that at the beginning it was really laggy until I switched out to uh, 4G. Wait. So at the beginning, and so you want to pull the buff into the bush so that you can hit both camps at the same time. Honestly, I'm just not that good at it. So a good answer player will do it very easily. And then you have to stay close to the blue buff so that you can wait even closer like this so that you can hit two people i mean two camps at once i had to reset my targeting because i somehow lost my tower and minion button getting poked by liliana so super annoying early game already half life right now and for enzo I like to max and there is one for more mobility and more damage. Since you can spam there is one even more in the team fights. You hook the camp over the wall. Then you you can see I keep spiking right now, 130 MS. And I actually decide okay, let's deactivate my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi is just super scuffed, 130 MS. So we finished our clear but we are really low from the Lediana poke I guess. And they shoved the, wind, uh, the wave really hard so we can't really kill someone but actually we managed to get the tower. That's surprising that Alondo and Enzo together do so much damage to the tower even though the tower is nerfed. Let's see if I can hook him, yes I do, S2 and then Okay, I don't even need to use my ultimate because he dies before, but usually the standard combo is to use S2, dash forward with your S1, then push him back with your S2 and then use your ultimate so that you pull him back while jumping back from backwards so that you're not too far in. Another variation is if you hook someone, you press your ultimate and then you use, wait, yeah, press ultimate, use your S1, use your S2, and then you push them back forward, and it's a really good gap closer with the ultimate. The moment you hit someone with S2, you can use your ultimate to gap close, and then use your S2 to push them back. That's way, that combo I just mentioned to you guys is a way on how you can catch out an ADC and then push him out of the team fight and then quickly kill them. And right now I'm super low life. Let's try to escape. I'm not getting targeted yet. Use mass to engage, activate Arctigob, one auto attack, get the reset. And now S2 and we miss because we are bad and so we're just a bad answer. <laughs> no, I will see so some people will already cringe because that hook was pretty pepega. But anyways guys, 302. We're not doing too bad. We don't play answer. We are not doing too bad. I know my answer is not the best, but I saw so many comments asking, oh please make answer gameplay. I'm like, okay, I guess I try to play answer. And right now I'm getting caught, that was yeah, unfortunate that Timmy and Liliana were already there ready to rumble and destroy us. So our blue buff is up, I hope no one is going to invade and take the blue buff. Maybe Elandor will try to take my blue buff right now considering that I was dead. I hope not, I don't want to lose my blue buff and it's still up, we're fine. Use our S2 over the wall so we can follow onto the team fight that's happening. But they, I think they, yeah, they already finished the team fight. They got a one for one trade, so that's not too shabby. 
Let's go for the mini dragon. And always spam your ultimate when you hit a minion because the cooldown is really low and you do additional damage that way. 3 1 2, I guess. We're not doing too bad. Our Atlanta is doing really good so far. So we are enjoying the free boost by Elandor. See, I go close to the wall, push my um, push the red buff back, and then use my S2 and then jump over the wall. Let's see if I can target him. Yes, I do. We popped him. Let's get the. Okay, get one kill. Oh, I managed to hook him. I'm so good. Yay! I'm not that bad, and so that wasn't that bad. Let's go. And I wanted to hook the Ryoma, but yeah, getting ultimated by Laville. And now he used the shield, so we can't hook him, anyways. Let's see if I can find the target. And there's Ryoma. Ultimate. And we should be able to kill him. Yes, we do. I knew he would try to defend the top wave because the wave is going to crash in soon. Since Florentino is shoving the wave in and most of the times people are greedy, even if they're low life, they don't want to go back. So, simple kill for us. 6-1-3! Let's go! We're not doing too bad! Yeah, let's just get the tower, I guess. 6 minutes 30. The Duxler hasn't didn't even spawn yet. We have almost every two, two tower. Let's see if we can take the blue buff. Yeah, we should be able to take the blue buff. Push it. Get the small camp and now try to maybe take... Actually, never mind. The others are up, so let's not take it. Go for our red buff. Oh my god, so that was a bit I ran into the wall and missed my S2 again. Okay was yikes no one saw that oh yeah they actually decided to nerf Enzo in the next patch but it's just a small ms nerf considering that okay that was a clean kill onto Alando. nice hook yeah considering that they buff shadow shadow dash Shadow Dash buff, Dual Rune da um, buff. I think those two are really good for Enzo. So overall, I'm pretty sure it will be a buff for Enzo, considering that Dual and Dash Rune will be really good for him. And the Burst Rune is getting, I mean, the Burst Enchant is getting nerfed. It doesn't scale with AD anymore, so no one's going to play that one anymore. Everyone is going for the Shadow Dash, which is getting buffed. So I'm pretty sure every Enzo player is going to go for that and go for the dual rune on top of that. Push him, you know, kill him. That's another kill for us. We should be able to finish the game right now. Let's see if we can hook someone maybe. Push him. Oh no, 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 no. no. Oh, actually we die right before we can finish the game. So two deaths in total. But I think the gameplay wasn't too bad. Missed two hooks. One onto minion and one onto Timmy, but overall I would say, considering that I didn't play him for so long, I think the gameplay wasn't too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and I see you next time. Bye bye!